Hi guys, I'm Yusuke, a karate coach in Japan, and thank you so much for coming back to my best of the best reaction video. I've already watched the first third of this movie, so if you'd like to check that video out, please watch it from up here. This is going to be the second part um, of this movie. So, let's get started. Meisei-kan. That's what it says at the top. Meisei is the name of the... Um, I mean, Meisei mom. Mom means uh, the door. Okay. So like I mentioned, the difference between Karate and Taekwondo is the jumping aspect. Okay, so they're doing... Hmm, very Western approach, right? Boxing. And they're doing a Taekwondo kick. Hmm. Yup, I mean, the boxing ring is right there, so... Oh, oh yeah, just a cultural fact. Jump ropes are a huge thing in Japan for some reason. If you're in elementary school, I would say by the time you're in like fourth grade, everybody, not everybody, but mo like 80% of the students can do a double spin. Like you jump once and then spin twice. Everybody can do that. So like I, you know, and I, I love jump rope. So I was doing it for the first three years from grade one to grade third grade um, in Japan. And I moved to the US and then... <laughs> It was, I mean, I was like one of the best one already because I was doing so many jump ropes. But I was like, you know, just the average level um, jump rope student in Japan. So that was a, another funny thing that I thought. Um, you know, I think the U.S. also has that heavy jump rope too, right, for workouts. Japan doesn't have that, so it was pretty interesting to see that as well. Okay, push-ups. Oh, with the, uh, with the Shinai bamboo stick. Very Asian. Some um, karate schools have that as well. Oh, okay, I picked that up. Um, and when you're doing a f uh, fist push-up, it's called uh, ken tate. Ken means your fist. Tate, uh, taken from ude tate, um, push-ups. You, uh, you want these two knuckles to be on the floor. So if you take a look at this, this is lifted. So you sh he should lift up these two and only contact these two or else you'll get a bad habit of punching with here so be careful when you're doing a, a tate ken i mean ken tate mm, interesting western approach and a very asian approach to things oh yeah korea is so cold I went to Seoul on February of 2019. It was freezing. Oh. What is she gonna do? This? Hmm? Did you guys see how she made the fist? <laughs> I mean, I don't wanna be picky, but <laughs> you gotta be realistic here. If you do martial arts, everybody knows to tuck their thumb in, right? But then, the way she did it, <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> so, eh, I don't know about that. And also, because there was a thin wood um, right in between the wooden, I mean the, the stones, it's easier to break it that way. Okay, knife hand, shito. Oh, but they have a boxing, um, how do you call it, bandages? right there so i don't know it's very mixed i would i would say it's not completely western versus eastern from what i see 155 pounds gold medal 1984 world Whoa, that was clean silver medal tokyo invitational with yours son great he's crippled more than one fighter with his strength hmm. wonderful that's why we're going to make your moves smaller and more focused Shitouchi, knife hand. Oh, <laughs> here. <laughs> That's crazy. Virgil, this is Mr. Han Cho. Gold medal, 1986, Hong Kong invitation. Wow. They are completely single-minded in their pursuit of... Yeah, these guys are like real <laughs> Taekwondo masters. Meet Mr. Sei Jin Kwan, currently rated number one in his division. The best fighter of his Axe generation. kick. That's crazy. Many fighters have Karate doesn't have an axe kick, so... I wonder how they generate the power. Probably by getting the hip up. 
I mean, if you do Taekwondo, please let me know. Pounds, he pushed the pelvis old. up at the moment yeah. of impact, but I think. That's just my guess. Whatever you may think of his age, never underestimate his opponent. Ooh. He's won gold medals for the 84 to 88 world champion. Very precise. He's still rated number one On that world. thin part. It's, it's hard to go full swing and to aim that. Oh. They know each other. Well, I mean, he's seen him before. <laughs> wow, he must be pretty old then. But he can still move. I think in my last video I mentioned ITF, but this is WT Taekwondo, my mistake, because they have the full armor. But then, no, but then the tournament scene, they had those huge ITF gloves. So I guess it's mixed up. And yeah, I mean, if you guys are liking this reaction video so far, then please let me know my next movie. Should I go, you know, continue with Best of the Best? Uh, number two and number three, or should I change the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. So far, we've done Karate Kid, um, Cobra Kai, Best of the Best, uh, what was the last one? Uh, Bluff Sport, and some other minor ones as well, so let me know, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I would say, guys, before Personally, before doing these hard workouts, you should always seek um, advice from a martial arts sensei that knows how to execute the technique correctly. I mean, if you have a lot of power, of course, that is a strength, but it'll be a lot better if you can channel that um, clearly to a direction. So let me know. Let, make sure you practice slowly and pra practice under a right teacher. And as for karate, you can watch my tutorial videos. No mercy. Hmm, he's scared, I guess. Oh yeah, but then guys, for all the American people out there, the mentality that you have, like, the, I guess the dedication to win is crazily high compared to the Japanese. Um, at least the Japanese. I think Koreans are different not how how the people are, are very different but as for the japanese we're more of like a quiet people so the episode i remember is when i moved to the states i joined the soccer team and although tech 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 technique wise i was better than the teammates but mentally i was a lot weaker and my teammates would never give up during the matches and that was a huge culture shock for me so yeah, if you're American out there and you have a strong mentality, or if, maybe if you don't think you're that strong, I think compared to other countries, you have a strong mindset, like never giving up or to, to focus and to like the dedication towards yeah, victory, <laughs> I think is crazily high. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or maybe the Japanese is too low. I don't know. Either way, but I, I felt the difference. Vast difference. Oh, wow. So I bet I think he's like what forty something then. Elbow this way. Interesting. Karate is this way. And Muay Thai is this way. I've never seen. We have this, but this very unique. I would say is that a Taekwondo movement, guys? Let me know. Oh, he got so much better. So they're using boxing. Hmm. Oh yeah, that was a consecutive kick. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> oh, okay. This is called Takigyo in Japanese. I didn't know Korean people do this too. When you come over to Japan, guys, you can do this um, as an activity. So, you, yeah, I think it's good to check it out. He's gonna try his best. Open up the toes. Do it! 
Back spinning kick. Yeah. Strongest technique. Woo! Very clean. Very clean. <laughs> Is he okay? Yeah, I think that's one of the strongest technique anybody can do, or a human body can do. Back spinning kick. What do you guys think? I saw one video that um, where they measured different kicks in different martial arts. I think Capoeira won first place. I think. What do you guys think? What's the strongest technique you can pull off? He's just taking a break. From karate. Impact wise, back spinning kick, maybe. Or I guess anything to the growing <laughs> would be a lethal one. Alright, guys, thank you guys so much for watching part two of this movie. Make sure you guys check out part three, which is gonna come out next weekend as well. Also, I do my online group lessons and private lessons where we can learn karate together online. So check that out from here. And I'll see you guys in my next video.